So once we have finished the quick cleanup and we have applied the reshaping liquify filter to the portrait, we are ready to start the actual work and to start adjusting light and shadow. So as I've mentioned before, it's much more effective, it's much easier if you are not distracted by the colors in the image and when you are working with black and white. That's my favorite technique and I would recommend it. I would encourage you to try it out. So let's take the next step and let's convert this color image to black and white. We are going to work in a non-destructive way. So I'm going to click on this icon, add adjustment layer and select from here black and white. Black and white tool, it's a very, very powerful tool. It's a very flexible tool and gives you huge amount of control when converting color image to black and white. So let's see if there is a need to pull these sliders. If you're not familiar with the black and white tool, these six sliders, they represent the colors in our original color image. And for example, if I would like to make the cyan's darker in the black and white conversion, all I need to do is to pull the slider that represents cyan's towards the right hand side. And as you can see, it darkens all this area in the image that consisted of cyan. You can observe how the reflections in the eyes got affected by this. Okay. I'm going to reverse this as I don't want to change the cyans that way. So basically by pulling the red slider, usually when you are working with a portrait, it's going to darken the skin. If you are working with a portrait of a man, it can be needed, it can be recommended. However, the general rule is that with women, we are aiming to smoothen the skin, to make the skin softer and brighter. So pulling the slider towards the left hand side will darken all the red areas in the image, including her lipstick but now I'm getting this really harsh and horrible looking texture. So it's definitely not a good idea in case of a portrait of a girl. So I can pull the slider a little bit towards the right hand side. However, I don't want to lose this contrast either. I want to have this body shapes defined as they are now. I want to have her cleavage nicely visible, her collarbone and the way the face was lit, it was very beautiful from the beginning with the natural light. So altering the red slider will flatten the face and it's introducing this really horrible pixels. So let's reverse and never alter those sliders in a very, very strong way as you are going to run into troubles. So in this case, I'm going to keep this red slider. Basically, I can push it a little bit towards the right to make the skin slightly brighter, but I'm going to work on the light and shadows with the adjustment layers with curves. So with the black and white tool, I just want to make the general very subtle alternations. I can try to pull the yellow slider slightly towards the right hand side and maybe the cyan to the right hand side as brightening the cyan, as you remember, darkening affect the image pretty strongly and pushing it towards the right introduces this nice light in her dress and brightens the reflections in the eyes as the reflections, those beautiful lights were consisting a color of the sky. Okay, so let's get back to our black and white tool and we can push a little bit, maybe not a little bit, it's pretty strongly. So we can push the cyan to around 200, 209, the blue slider. We can push it a little bit towards the right hand side, the magenta, I'm not going to touch. So I don't want to run in trouble with the skin texture. I don't want to get this image pixelated. Okay, so at this point, I'm very happy with the black and white conversion. I can toggle it on and off to see the results. Okay, it's looking good. That way we have converted our color image with the black and white tool and the adjustment layer to the black and white 
version and we can take the next step and start working with the curves to control light and shadows in the image.